The music industry is crumbling at the top, but the question is how do you build a structure to win in a world where the infrastructure that you were gonna rely on is actually falling to pieces. So check this out. The major label machine was built in the second and third industrial revolution. It never was designed for the digital revolution, which is the fourth. It's where we are. And now you want to know how to build a business for yourself as an artist because the cash out resources that have been championed for 70 plus years are on life support. They really are. You can't see it, but I can. The cash is there. It looks like, oh, I need a little million, but no, no, no. I don't want to go on a soapbox. Check this out. You may also be feeling the pressures of all that independence artists were demanding for the past 20 years resting on your shoulders. And this, check it out. Question is, should major labels even be in the conversation of music anymore, considering the fact that most A&Rs don't know what to sign or do anymore to keep those star machines going? We just talked about this decline, what, a week ago now? So I gotta address some more points on the end game of the current industry and address where we're going in the new industry coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, and I've been educating you all on this music industry for the past, I don't know, four years now? But I've been watching this decline for 10 plus years, and the change for 10 plus years. We all knew this was coming, but I got a few more things to address in this end game and where we're going in this new game, so check it out. All right, Music Money Makers, so let's address some of these new deals and new structures that will be coming in. So you're gonna see a lot more of this, profit sharing deals for artists, I'm gonna say that's a typo, for artist portfolios, okay? Ultimately, the general manager will become the head of these artists run record companies. Between the artists and the manager, they will grow and scale the portfolio based on their relationships and business experience together. Now, many will fail trying because many new managers don't know how to start and scale a volatile business like an attention-based business that is built on music. Yes, this business is very, very volatile. The record label execs don't know how to do this either because all they know how to do is their freaking job. That's it, okay? So without that system there, you realize that you got to build your own system and then comes the hard work. All right. So this is going to be one of the deals you see you're going to see. And you've already been seeing this. Artists and managers get together. They build a company. But what you haven't been seeing is the managers are now invested in the artist's company and they're taking a portion of the profits of the company versus taking a 20 percent cut of this or that. So that's what I mean by a profit sharing deal. Check this out. What type of company will be built? The business that the artists will be building will be called a multimedia business. I've been hinting at this for the last couple episodes, I think, and these are pre-scheduled, so I don't know which one came first. But anyway, with different sectors for doing certain types of business, the business will be records and publishing, touring merchandise and paraphernalia and endorsements. But all of this is technically a multimedia company simply because we have to add content into the mix. When that happens, we have a lot of intellectual property assets on our hands that we own, that produce money for us. Things go viral, then they have a retro viral season and another reverberation of a retro viral season after that, okay? Records, records go big and then they fall off and then they have another resurgence. It's like waves, like you have the first wave and the second wave is lower and the third wave and then it's, then it's retro again and people gotta do it again, you know, spin it again. So we're building a multimedia company. Ultimately, that's what we're doing. And, and it's not really gonna be for the record labels to get involved unless they're just strictly gonna get in on the records which is a very, very dangerous place for the major labels to be because that's not enough. Records and streaming is not enough to keep the lights on if that's all they're maintaining. They have to have a 360, but artists are pushing back against that. So, you know, as I said in the, one of the previous videos, you hold the power, man. You hold the power to all this stuff. So how will, I, how will investors get paid? Investors will get paid based on profits from the specific business they were investing in or the entire portfolio. So if you got an investor to invest $100,000 for recording, well, they only gonna get paid out on the recording. If you got an investor to invest in $100,000 for the merchandise, they're only gonna get money back on the merchandise. But if you got an investor to invest in, in the entire portfolio, well, then they can get paid on all the profits of the portfolio if that's how you have your business set up. You know, it's whatever you wanna do. Now, the artists last longer elevating their brand versus the music. Let me read that again. The artists last longer, elevating their brands 
versus the music. The truth is, artists last way longer when they approach their careers from a 360 brand perspective, rather than just a recording artist perspective. If there is no relatability to the public at a mass or semi-mass scale and no connectivity to the listener, customers, and consumers of your entertainment and products, then the artist will fail immediately. So this is why I said you will be a multimedia company. You're still gonna have a records and publishing division. You're still gonna have a merchandise division. You'll have a content division. And you'll have an endorsement division. All this is just gonna happen all at one time. This is the new wave. This is the new industry that we're going into. And the people that artists can model themselves after are really the influencers and the content creators that are out there. Because you'll see, like these people are making a lot of money who are very successful at it, right? And they have entered the same playing field that you are now on. Everybody is now a content creator. And so therefore, when you promote your brand over the music, you begin to win. Even though the music is a part of your brand, is a part of the makeup, okay? Now, automotive technology made all of this possible over the years. All of these services below allowed the artists to take control of their careers. DIY distributors, DIY administration, social media taking out mass media, access to one-off uh, services, think Fiverr, Sound Better, or Upwork. Everything came to your fingertips. It's here now. There's literally no excuse to build your own powerhouse. And this is the wave of the future, or it's here now rather. And so the quicker you can get on this wave and ride it, you know, the easier things will be for you. The longer you sit and say, man, I need a label to help me do this, man. All right, well, you're just gonna be sitting on the sidelines. The game has changed since 2010. It's changed since, since 2018, it's changed. And, you know, at this point, I don't really have any sympathy for people who are still thinking like it's 1999. I, I can't, I can't anymore. You know what I mean? Now, record labels will have to train new staff if they're gonna make it. I'm talking about the majors now. And you all are gonna to have to change your mindsets. You see, record labels will have to train staff on how to grow the entire business from the beginning. Hear me out. Otherwise, they will end up getting a small piece of the pie because most artists now will have already built out their 360 deals and will have already been in the two comma club before signing a deal that makes sense. If I build out, me and the crew, we build out the entire business. We got everything automated, everything going, the e-commerce going, we got our own ticketing, we got the streaming down, we're running the ads, we've done everything, we've built the company. At this point, what do we need the labels for? If you're only gonna give us an advance, that's not gonna last, that's not flowing cash, mind you. In advance is not cash flow. That's just one income check. After that, where's our monthly cash flow gonna come from? We had to give it all up to the majors. You see what I'm saying? If you gotta get in the way of the cash flow that I made as an independent, why do I need to sign with you? Now this is gonna, have, you're gonna have to be smart as an artist and think about this. Do I sign and I go to the other side of the tracks where we're doing the Jimmy Fallon's of the world and all of that? Or do I keep my cash flow rolling and reinvest it into my business and diversify my portfolio? You know, and that's really your crossroads. Your crossroads are now placed so high up the map that it really doesn't make any sense to do business with them. If you have the discipline to build your business the correct way. All right. Now, the most powerful players in this new picture of the new game is a general manager that knows how to build and scale a business. Pause for a second. Because a lot of these people who say they want to manage you have no business acumen. They don't know what to do with the business. They haven't even registered for an LLC. They don't know how to, they don't know how to build and scale a business. So they got to get they got to get some experience, I agree, but they also need to have known something before they come managing you. Your social media that is always on the cutting edge of trends and technology and content distribution will be the next powerful player. The PR agent who knows how to design short-term and long-term narratives and also knows how to spin a story on a dime. And the artist who knows how to work together with their team and understands that they are building a business. Everybody else is subcontracted and hired. The marketing team, they're only gonna be hired to work the project. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the, the touring manager, they're only gonna be there when we have certain legs of the tour. So everybody else is gonna be subcontracted. These are your power, for, your, your power players now. I've been looking forward to working with my dream record label since I was a child. Sorry, kid, deals just don't make sense anymore. They don't. You can work with them, but I mean, 
you're not going to get the staff that you thought you were going to get. You know what I mean? Those departments are long gone. They're, they're so consolidated now. People are inexperienced there now. It's, you know what I mean? You have people who do have experience who've been there for a while, but the, for the most part, the people are just watching chart metric and signing people based off that. So can I even, uh, can I ever sign a major deal? Only if you're looking for a cash out. This is the only time I recommend the, uh, the use of the labels. Uh, but then again, why would you do that? Everything is going to be fully automated soon. So if you're talking about, you know, royalty distribution, that's automated. If you're talking about, you know what I mean, uh, exploiting the catalog, as long as you can keep up with your sync agents and stuff like that, that's pretty much, that's a done deal. Like you have those connections built already. So it's only if you're looking for a cash out that you would ever sign with a major deal and say, hey, look, I'm out the game. I want to sign these masters over to you and get an advance off of this stuff, just like I would if I was doing a publishing deal. Uh, let's work something out. You get what I'm saying? Now, I built something so that you can succeed with your very own company. It's called the 60 Day Record Label Course. It's a framework to help you establish your record label in a perfect 60 day sequence. And we're gonna start with the LLC, which is the company foundation. And we're gonna build it with the bank account for some base level anonymity. And from there, we're gonna go into the international and domestic collection of your royalties for records and publishing without the middleman taking 15% and without signing a deal with all of these side collectors out here. I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. Okay, and then you're going to utilize the contract templates within the course to actually learn the game where it is and so you can understand where you need to go from there. All right, all the stuff you see in the bottom right hand corner is included. You can click the link below to get more information and I encourage you to do so. A lot of people have already taken advantage of it and they their minds have really been blown by this stuff. Now, let's develop your strategy. If you got questions, I got answers. I want to help you develop a strategy to win in this game. My line is always open. That link is right down below. And then grab the free stuff below if this is your first time watching the channel. Ultimately, the brighter side is this. You'll be building your business and scaling it keeping your labels out, maneuvering in the water much faster, and you're keeping excess hands out of your profits. And this lets money flow faster, and this gives you a business that you can cash out on later with, uh, without the labels or with the labels. You get what I'm saying? But the end of the road looks like this. You more than likely will get lost in the sauce of a bad deal if you sign. You'll feel like you wasted your time when you could have stayed independent, and record labels will slow you down if you do sign. Because you're getting money so fast at this point if you know how to scale, that it won't make sense to sign with them. So this is where you wanna be, all right? Ultimately, if you can understand that the music industry is going through a transformation and the power will start to break up and go into the smaller hands of the people, then you know that you're gonna to have to put more effort in. But as long as you understand this, then you can still have the success in the game that you want to have. All right, music money makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com jump into the 60 day record label course, download the free stuff below, book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com and I'll see you next time. Peace.